Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. In front of me, I have the, oh wait, this is the NES Classic Edition. Today, we're going to be messing around with the Commodore 64 Classic Edition. That's what we're going to call it. 30 games pre-installed. It runs on four AA batteries, has composite video out. Now I paid $1.99 for it. Uh, I think there's a little bit of cat poop on the box, but after tax, it was $2.13, so I couldn't pass it up. I'm not sure if it's ever been open, and we're going to go over what games are on it when we boot it up. It looks pretty cool. I did a little bit of research on it, and I found them used for like $24 on eBay. And it may have been open looking at the packaging, but it's pretty old. It's made by Mammoth. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box and see what it comes with. It's probably nothing but the unit itself and some cables connected to it, but we'll see what's in here. Yeah, I don't think it's ever been used before. I mean, it's very clean. There's no instructions, though. So there we have it. Two buttons. We have five buttons on the front. Actually, four buttons. A, B, C, and D, and a reset button. There's our on and off switch and LED. There's where our four AA batteries go. I wonder how long it runs. I don't know. But this runs composite video, and I'm going to have to record the screen with my camera, so it's going to look like crap. Mono audio out, RCA. And the joystick feels like an old Commodore joystick. Like an Atari type feel to it. Build quality seems pretty decent for this type of unit. Let's go ahead and boot it up and see what this thing can do. We just got our two function buttons here, uh, left and right. There's five buttons here, A, B, C, D, and a reset button. Let's turn it on right here. For the C64 command prompt screen, I had to take a picture. The camera would not pick it up in video mode. Starting out, the music is pretty kick-ass. Bull Riding, Championship Wrestling, Cyberdyne Warrior, Cybernoid, Cybernoid 2, Eliminator, Exelon, Fire Lord, Flying Disc, Gateway to, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, Impossible Mission, Impossible Mission 2, Jumpman Jr., Paradroid, Pit Stop, Pit Stop 2, Ranorama, Ranorama, Silicon Warrior, Speedball, Summer Games, Super Cycle, Sumo, Surfing, Sword of Fargoal, Tower Topple, Eurodon, whatever, Winter Games, World Karate Champion A, World Karate Champion B, Zynaps. Let's go up to the top and check a few of these out. So I don't want to try bull riding. I don't like wrestling. I'm going to go with Cyberdyne Warrior. So the parallax on that star system in the background is awesome for a C64 game. Now I wonder how long these batteries last. I'm going to have to set this down and hopefully be able to play this game. Okay, so I got some bullets here. My other button doesn't do anything. Hey. Oh, crap. The hell did I do? I pressed A. B? Okay, that's reset. Damn. All right, let's try this out. Oh. That little ball is going to kill me, man. I can't get him. Okay, pretty cool. Got him. That ball's not going anywhere, man. 
So I got some life left. I'm just going to run through him. Oh, crap. What the hell is going on here? And I'm dead. So I've never tried this game. I'll give it a go again later on and see if I can get into it. I'm going to hit the reset button on the Commodore stick, I guess we can call it. Cybernoid. We'll do Cybernoid 2. So there's no other inputs to like hook up a keyboard or anything like that to this. Okay, if I hold... Okay, so I do have some bombs. Oh, come on. Dude, don't even, buddy. Just get out of here. Oh, God. This does not look good. We're gonna... Oh, and I can't go back. And I can't kill him. Alright. Try to get... That's it. Game over. Eliminator. Exelon. Fire Lord. We're gonna go with Fire Lord. Oh, yeah. So what are we talking about? Zelda for the Commodore? Oh, God. I didn't steal anything, did I? Oh, my God. They're going to kill me. So, you know, I probably should have, like, read a Wikipedia page about some of these games before I started. So my sound stopped recording while I was making this video. It really sucks, but this is Pit Stop 2. Later on down the road, if you want to see me play any more of these games, I will definitely read up on them, practice them a little bit, and then I'll play some more for you guys. This thing overall seems really cool, and even for $24, you can't beat it. You get 30 really awesome old C64 games that are just fun to mess around with. You can hook it up to your big screen out in the living room. You can chill out on the couch and play some Commodore 64. With 30 games preloaded, it's, it's really hard to beat. I wish there was like an access port on here. But this thing was made a long time ago. And it seems to, if it's emulating these games, it seems to do it very well. I'm not sure what kind of hardware is in here. When you boot it up or restart a game, it does give you that C64 run command line. Um, I don't know if that's just for show or if it's really emulating the hardware itself. So that's it for now, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you want to see any more of this, like I said, I'll practice up and see what I can do. Like always, thanks for watching.